Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys my Mesa Prime build, aka best booty, best ass frame, whatever. So today, I'm going to also show you guys how her skills would work and also that booty. I mean, let's just get started, alright? If you want to skip to the build, then here is the time code and here is for the demonstration. So let's just get over some basic history and we should get to know about the Mesa Prime. So she was released like a week ago along with the Redeemer Prime and the Ark Jagara Prime. So a lot of people were really hyped for it and I think it's mostly because of the great booty. Okay, never mind. But the thing is, the regular Mesa is known to be a very strong Warframe. A lot of people use it for the index, for quickly killing bosses, rushing invasions, playing void fishers and more. She is a very powerful Warframe and an all-rounder in my opinion. Because she can tank with a third skill which is Shatter Shield, she can crowd control with a second ability and to do some amazing damage with a Peacemaker. Ballistic Battery is also kind of a fun skill but I don't see many people using it that's too bad but it's a really good skill in my opinion. If you want to know how Mesa's skills look like, then I'm just going to quickly brush through it. Her first skill essentially takes damage dealt with your guns and stores them with some kind of energy. And so when you press 1 again, it will use that energy to boost the damage of your next shot. Her second basically jams nearby enemy guns and also provides extra damage for your guns. A third skill, Shatter Shield, which is basically a tank ability, it allows you to reflect some of the enemy's damage and as well to provide damage reduction. Her fourth skill is essentially Aimbot and you can deal a lot of damage using this ability. Along with this ability, there is also Regulators, which is guns that are exclusive for Mesa. They are basically exalted weapons and that's why it can appear as a separate weapon in your arsenal. For the regulators, it's mainly an impact weapon having puncture and slash equal. Its critical stats is also pretty good and the status is, well, pretty decent. Now I'm not gonna go too deep on where to farm Mesa Prime and her weapons as well because I'm making this video assuming that you already have Mesa Prime and know where to farm her parts as well. If you want to know where to farm the relics and the best places to farm those relics then you can check out the link in the description below. I have linked you guys a pretty good website that I always follow whenever I want to farm some prime trash or to just farm some prime warframes or weapons or whatever shit I want but trust me it's a good website I definitely recommend it and I like it very much. So let's just skim through one very interesting trivia about the Mesa Prime. Apparently the developers wanted to add more polygons onto the Mesa Prime. I'm not sure where those polygons are added exactly but hopefully, well yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about right so good job. Now I'm gonna show you guys the builds then we're gonna move on to the demonstration after the builds. Now this build is mainly focused on all of her abilities but not so much for number 2 which is Shooting Gallery. I use this build mainly because of the damage buff that you can get from Shooting Gallery but not so much for the crowd control potential. And with this build, I really recommend you guys to keep your third and your second always turned on. Your second can provide a little bit of crowd control in close range and to also give you some damage buff and your third ability basically enhances your survivability and the chances of not dying. As always, I like to have my builds to be flexible and can be changed whenever you want provided that you give enough format to the build. So you can replace Streamline with Adaptation if you're willing to give in another format for this build. You can also replace Power Drift with Mesa's Waltz if you have it and if I were you, I would definitely replace Power Drift with Mesa's Waltz but unfortunately, I don't have the mod so too bad. Can we get 10 likes please, thank you. And for the Arcane selection, I definitely recommend having Arcane Velocity and Arcane Energize. If you want to have more survivability, then you can use Arcane Guardian or Arcane Grace if you want to. And that's it for the Mesa build. For my Regulators build, it's pretty straightforward. It's modded for crit, corrosive and as much multi-shot as possible. And now we can move on to the demonstration. 
just like the usual bomb bats, heavy gunners, copper techs, and common infested enemies. Let's get started. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do enjoy it then be sure to smash the like button and be sure to comment something nice and please consider subscribing. If you want to support me then check out my coffee page, links in the description below and that's it for now. Thank you everyone for watching this video once again and I'll see you guys in another video, goodbye.